Hey everybody, today I have another super fun haul. Today's haul is actually sponsored by ThreadUp, which is where we're gonna be hauling from today. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with ThreadUp, ThreadUp is a secondhand store online where people can either sell their clothing or purchase the clothing. I'm gonna be focusing on shopping today. Before we get started, before I dive into the items I got, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about how to shop the site because once I figured it out, it made it a lot easier for me. You can actually set your preferences so you can select your sizing. You can even select which brands you're interested in. So if you know you really like Iloqui and you wanna make sure that you see everything on the site that's related to Iloqui, you can actually filter down to that. So what I've done is just send some preferences about my size. I like to select certain brands. You can even look for things like new with tags, which I think is a super awesome feature that feels new. At least I didn't notice it the previous times I've shopped, but it allows you to see anything that's like never been worn by somebody else that just happens to be in the store. And surprisingly, it's more than I thought it would be. So also, if you've never used ThreadUp before, today I'm actually offering a discount. So if you are checking out ThreadUp for the first time, I have an amazing code here, Glitter40, that will get you 40% off your first order. And the items are actually really inexpensively priced already. So 40% off means they're gonna be like super cheap. So you should definitely check it out if you've not used the site before because it for sure has some amazing options, some of which I'm gonna walk you guys through right now. So let's start with the packaging. It's adorable. Like it might be the cutest packaging I get from a brand ever. This one says, pushing the envelope, get it? Cause it's an envelope on second hand since 2009. I just think it's really cute. I got both an envelope and a box. I think it's cause I got my stuff expedited because I was a little bit of a hot mess and I ordered my first set of stuff and had it shipped to my apartment in Austin by accident, which was not very smart, not intelligent. So this is the first item. Let's just show the little sticker. Sealing deals since 2009. And whenever you have your stuff, their little hashtag is like secondhand first. Ooh. So this is a super cool green jacket from somewhere called Studio Works. It's a size 24 and it is very green. I love this color. It is a color you either love or you passionately hate. I passionately love it. It feels like a micro suede, so it's a faux suede. It has a nice little mandarin collar and a zipper. It looks completely brand new. Like I don't think a person who had this before ever wore it. I guess maybe because it's one of those colors, it's a little bit scary, but I'm so excited to wear it. I have like the best idea for it. it. Has cute little zippers here at the pocket. It's very soft, very well made. I've actually never heard of Studio Works. I don't know where that's from. The actual clothing is composed of polyester all the way around. Interesting enough, like I really don't think this person wore it because look, that little thing that you always have to cut out of nice clothing, which means this probably is nice clothing, is still there. So I'm actually, I feel like this is a massive win. Wherever this came from, this person did not wear it. Not enough to cut the danger tag out of it. That like, I don't know what happens if you leave that tag in, but I just assume it explodes or something. But yeah, the danger tag is still in there. So this has definitely not been worn very much. Thank you, person who turned this in, because I love it. Look at the color. I mean, it's going to look so great. It makes my eyes go, wow. They're like so blue with this. Ugh! So this jacket should retail for about $45. That seems cheap for me for how nice it is. But anyway, apparently the retail price is $45, and I paid a whopping $11.99 for this, and it's super nice. Um, I love this jacket even just over the outfit I have on now. It's so cute. This is such a cute color. It's so unexpected. Oh my goodness, I love it. Ah, kill. Bonus. Now we get to open the big kahuna, which is the box. What's in the box? It's Napa. Very good choice. Oh, does anybody does anybody watch UHF? Because if you did, you got that joke. If not, you should watch it. It's a movie made by Weird Al. Yes, Weird Al made a movie. And it is as weird as you would expect a Weird Al movie to be. So, again, we see the adorable polka dots on the inside. Same ceiling deals we saw in the other one. 
but also this gold digger since 2009, which is my personal favorite sticker they have. I've seen that one before, and I'm like, she'd take my money when I need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she a gold digger way over here that digs on me. Okay. Let's, let's, let's look at the stuff in the box, yeah? Okay. The first item we have, remember I was mentioning new with tags? Well, this is new with tags. They're a pair of brown Style & Co corduroy leggings, which I was super excited about because I love leggings, I love corduroy. You put them all together and it's a dream pant. It's warm and comfortable. Now, I've actually purchased similar leggings like this from Style & Co before and I lived in them. I absolutely loved them. They've got a nice stretch. They're very soft. I absolutely love this. I got these in a 3X. These are, these are a Macy's house brand, and let's look at how much they actually cost me. These were originally full retail, $49.50. We can actually see it on the tag. And I paid $6.99. <laughs> I definitely got a good deal here. And I like these particular leggings so much because they have reinforced elastic at the waist. That's what I look for most often in like pants like this, so they stay up. They do have little pockets. They are little pockets. I have seen this before and I'm like, why use so tiny pockets? Because you know I have a big butt and the ratio of this pocket to my butt cheek is a little off but I'm gonna let that slide because it's leggings. I'm gonna cover my booty up with something anyway. I already knew I was gonna love these. I've bought these before. Brown is a new color for me for pants, but I think it'll be good to, for like some warmer toned outfits. I have ideas. Overall, just as comfortable as the previous time as I bought them. Got them still new with tags and I'm really happy with my purchase. The next item we have is this awesome blazer. This is from Enlo. I don't know, I've never heard of that brand either, but it was originally $110 and I got it for $22.99. So like literally a third of the cost. This is a nice blazer. This is a fancy ass blazer. It's got a fun little collar. It ties around in the front, which I like because I like to accentuate my waist because it is smaller. Now this is not hardly been worn and how I know that is again going down here to the pockets typically on a good dress coat they will sew the pocket shut I don't know why that is is it like so a kid can't shove candy in there I don't really know why but they do and as you can see here these have not been opened the the like pockets have not been expressed so I can literally express them for the first time here which means this has not been worn very much, if at all. It might have just sat in someone's closet. The coat itself has some nice little shoulder pads, which I actually really like because I have tiny shoulders. Big arms, tiny shoulders. I don't think I've ever talked about my baby shoulders before, but literally, baby shoulders. And interesting here, you can see that the seams are reinforced. Not only have they double sewed it, so there's two stitch like seams across the, the seam here, there's two stitches or two lines of stitching. They've also then put some piping over it to even reinforce that th seam further. So this is really well made. However, it is not fully lined. It is only lined through the arms and through the front. So you can see the back unlined. And then we start looking into the front. We see the lining and then we see the arms have the lining up here through the front, which I find is a little weird. I'm not as familiar with blazers because I don't wear them that often. Actually, that's why I got this because I wanted a blazer, but I found that interesting that it's only really through the, the kind of yoke in the back, the arms and the front swings. Now, what I do think is kind of cool is the way they have done the lining. If you look there, it like overlaps and this nice little pedal look. I think that's cool. Again, I don't know if it's good construction or not, but I think it looks cool. And that's my opinion. This is a really nice blazer. One thing I will say that drove me nuts about this blazer is because the lining is not through the whole coat, you can accidentally put your hand in the coat in a way that it's not inside the lining and then it gets trapped right here at the cuff and you're like, <laughs> and then you just realize you put it on stupid. So you have to be able to cognizant of when you're putting it on to put it in the right armhole. The next item I have is from MBN, which is uh, Tess Holiday's line. 
It was originally $167 and I got this dress for $26.99. So another really great steal. It's a purple dress here with a rounded collar, not a rounded collar, with a rounded neckline. And then down the front, it's got like a side slash, so it goes down in a diagonal. This was worn a little bit, but it doesn't have very much damage to it at all. So it's not like worn out. It doesn't look like you wouldn't know that somebody else had worn it. In the back, it does come to a V, has a zipper hidden here, but you know I'm just gonna put this on over my head. And the seaming looks really great. I actually love how they have all the fun different seaming to just add that body yaddy yaddy shape when you wear it. So this is definitely a body con. Again, I got this in 3X. I am looking at it. It looks like it will probably be, uh, maybe not that short. It'll be moderately short on me. Looking at the fabric, it feels like a stretch, thicker um, jersey layered with like a thin ponty fabric. But I'm gonna go just take a look at what the actual fabrics are. The fabrics are a polyester rayon and spandex topper with 100% polyester um, inside. So at least the lining of this is stretchy. So as the dress is stretchy, so is the lining. So it will be able to get that true bodycon fit where sometimes when the lining is really non-stretch, it gets like weirdly lumpy underneath it. You know what I'm talking about, especially if you got a booty girl. So I really like this. Definitely wearing leggings underneath because the slash cut and because this feels like it's gonna have a little bit of a tendency to crib it, a crib it, a crib it, a crib it up my leg. But I think it's a really cool aesthetic. It's a great color for me. I love it. So from Talbot's, Retails at about $60, and I got it from a, for $11.99. Now, I love it because it has a big zipper down the back, a cute little peplum. I actually thought it would look really good with the pants I just showed you. It's three-quarter length, and in this lovely green color, which I'm really feeling these bright greens, because check it out. It just really makes my eyes pop. Now, my eyes are like chameleon eyes. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're green, but whatever color they decide to come out, I guess they're... I guess they look really blue. Uh, this makes it pop. And since I want people to start looking at me here, uh, I'm just gonna encourage them with this color shirt. It is a really good fabric, actually a type of fabric we don't see often in plus clothes, which is 100% cotton, which is really nice. And I think, uh, I think there's an appreciation as a plus size woman when we find things that are 100% cotton and not like stiff, or hard, but just really well-made textile. And that's what this is. It's very comfortable, very soft. This is really cute. It's cute, it's simple, it's really comfortable. I like this one a lot. So the last item is definitely my steal of the entire haul. This is originally from Karma, well it is from Karma Korma still. Karma Koma, Karma Koma from Karma Koma. And uh, originally this was a $120 dress and I got it for $18.99. What? First of all, it's cutouts but in a super cool way. I haven't seen done a ton, which is right here. So the top of the shoulder is sewn in and there's just a tiny little cutout right here, which would be right about here on the arm. It is a full sleeve. And then looking just at the back, there's no zip or anything. It's just a pull over the head type of top. I love it because a black dress like this over leggings always dynamite. Throw some belt on it if you want to be a little bit bam bam, or just wear it over leggings and be comfortable and look really cool. Having a dress like this that's made of kind of that stretch um, jersey kind of feel, that thick stretch jersey, which is a mix of polyester, viscose, and elastane if you wanted to know. It is so comfortable, right? But the, sometimes we compromise because those dresses don't have a great cut or an architecture to them. And this one, and I have another dress from Karma Coma that I love that I also got for Third Up that I still wear all the time, is going to be one of those like standard, live in your wardrobe, uh, wardrobe. <laughs> it's like when you know your wardrobe so big, it really should just have its own room in your house. In your ro wardrobe, all year round and you pull it out and you can make it magical in a whole bunch of different ways. And maybe I'll do a video where I wear the same dress, maybe this dress, and show you a whole bunch of different ways you can style it. Would you guys like that? Let me know in the comments. We'll sort it out. 
So this is the last item. I'm really happy about this one. This was the item I was actually probably most jazzed about. But I tried not to buy all black because the reality is, is I don't wear all black. I just sometimes like to get my basics thread up because they have amazing basics and they're really inexpensive. So I don't feel guilty when I buy a bunch of dresses that are normally out of my price range personally. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing. Like I wouldn't spend $120 on this necessarily because I'd be like, oh, it's just a black dress, but it's a great black dress is the thing. So I am in this paradox of what I do. So if you are looking for some amazing basic black dresses, I tell you, check out ThreadUp. And you have to be consistent because sometimes you'll go there and there won't be anything. And all that means is just some other fashion hungry girl got on the site first and cleaned it out in your size. So just wait a couple days. They put new stuff up like literally every day. I tell you, you will probably find something you like. I've really had a great experience with them. That is why I'm doing more hauls with them. As you guys know, I don't work with brands I don't love, and I've had a really great experience with ThreadUp thus far, so I'm gonna keep going. There we go. Oh, I love this so much. I love this subtle detail. It's such a surprise. I just, I am having a slight crush on this, on this dress. I just really, really like it. Favorite thing by far from this haul. I loved everything else, but I can just see myself wearing this so much. So that is everything. Again, if you want 40% off your first order, just use that code GLITTER40, it will get you 40% off your first order. Give it a go, see if it works for you. Things I like to do, look for new with tags, because who doesn't want something new with tags? Also, there's a description of the item, like if it's not new with tags, it'll tell you like what conditions it's in, in the kind of right hand column. You can also filter by the condition of the item as well. So if you're really particular about what you buy and whether you want pilling or anything else, you can look and mark, I don't want pilling or I don't want anything unless it's new with tags. So you can actually use those as filters while you're searching, which is super, super helpful. And I tend to look for things that are in excellent condition or new with tags. I have a couple times made exceptions for things that are less than excellent condition. They're usually fine. They usually just have like a little pilling to them. Excellent means they usually have no pilling. You wouldn't even know that someone had worn it before. So with that, that's my thread of haul. I put links down below to thread up if you want to check it out. Also, my code is there if you just want to copy and paste because you're lazy because that's how I roll. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. Any comments, do the same. So I had a ton of fun making this video today, guys. I always have fun doing hauls. They're just, I get to open presents and talk about them. It's kind of cool, right? I'm not going to complain about it. Anyway, have an amazing day. I love you all. I'll check you later and peace.